Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Start reclaiming who you truly are. So you're being guided because if you notice that right here, where you currently are is in the shadow area and they're guiding you out. And you can truly make this into an, a, a beautiful experience or you can make it as miserable if you decide to. Um, but it's like these lessons don't have to be harsh or extreme here because they're truly guiding you. They're guiding you towards your happiness to get you out of this stage that you're currently in because it's not serving you. They want you to take back your power over a particular situation in your life here. cracker and moon positive energy surrounds you love joy and good fortune awaits with the moon energy is this inner because with seven this is all about spiritual growth here um spiritual alignment as well and with 21 pay attention to your intuition this time and move ahead confidently it's like you are not acknowledging or really feeling seeing all it's almost like you it's this energy of you not realizing the positive energy that is surrounding you you could be surrounding yourself around the wrong people here or are you just not happy like where you currently are but there is something with like there's a lot of good things but you're not acknowledging it. Like you don't see the potential. It's like when you buy a firework, it's just, there's nothing really spectacular about it until you light it up and set it in the sky, set it off in the sky. Then it's like, whoa. So there's this energy of not realizing the potential of something here. What could potentially take place in your life? Some of y'all feel like you lost yourself, like you, especially like uh, for any, like the moms out here, it's like some of y'all, it's like you've gotten into this habit of um, working, coming home, you know, doing things for your family, but at the same point, like you've lost yourself, like you don't have time for yourself to really do the things that you enjoy because... You're sacrificing so much of your time for your family, the people that you love. I mean, the fathers too. I'm sorry, you guys. It's a lot. That was a lot that wanted to come out in the challenge position. And again, at least I can't just get one card. So you guys may feel like either currently you're faced with a lot of opposition here or it's just a lot of things that feel challenging within your energy. Oh. 
your challenge is a twin flame connection. So needing, you guys had to. Oh. You guys had to establish boundaries and a connection. The issue here is that I'm really getting that you feel conflicted about this connection. Um, it's really this energy because you're acknowledging someone as a twin flame energy. So you're acknowledging someone as like your spirit, your spiritual um, partner, your divine counterpart here. But then you're conflicted because you feel guided to either keep boundaries in place or to say no to this connection because you've had enough like some of you guys are already at that point with this person but then the other part of you you're trying to decide well was everything that we went through a part of our spiritual journey and we were meant to go through this so we can come together and be in this spiritual union for the rest of our lives like we were meant to go through this journey it was going to be difficult so you're conflicted as to, am I doing the right thing by establishing boundaries within this connection? Or am I about to miss out on the love of my life? The person I'm supposed to be with because I'm not understanding the spiritual aspect of this connection. Oh my gosh. We got conflict again. So this person is going to continue with this mixed signals, blocked emotions. They got you messed up energy. Um, and I'm really getting, it's like, it's, it's going to continue to create this conflict, the, differ the differences, the incompatibility. I am saying that you've been clinging on to this connection. Some of y'all is like spying on this person through just tarot readings or you guys are watching like their social media as well. But I am picking up that this is um, your energy, Pisces. So your advice is if you were to try again with this person, they would ghost you again. They would run from this connection again. They will go silent on you again. Um, I mean, you're not, you're right about this person feeling attracted to you, having a lot of passion. Um, and chemistry, like you and this connection is having like a lot of chemistry. Um, but at the same point, you're viewing this person with confessions here. Like you're wanting them to come clean. You're wanting them to give you messages to unveil how they feel, but they're just not doing it. Part is like their way of just running from this connection is continuing to be silent with you. So either if you're hoping, if you continue to hope for things to start over, things to, you know, take place here, they're letting you know they'll continue to like run from this connection to be silent.
I'm really saying this back and forth energy strongly here with you because you're going from like, you're letting go of the need of healing yourself from this and releasing this connection. Um, yeah. Some of you guys, this person will be returning, but they're only going to do the same thing that they did to you before because I am seeing some of you guys are like in the process of healing and releasing this connection. This person does return, apologize for all the pain that they caused you. Yeah, seeking some sort of second chance here to make amends, but then they're still in this non committal type of energy. It's not what you're hoping. To get out of this person what are their intentions towards pisces what are their intentions towards pisces please and thank you they intend to continue to just fantasize and daydream about you know a connection with you but then act like they're too busy or like actually make themselves like too busy intentionally seeking out other connections or overworking here doing things to keep them tied down but they do feel naturally drawn towards you like you're not going crazy the fact that you're picking up intuitively on this person some of you guys they're trying to attract you back towards them but they're still not offering you any commitment here how does this person feel about Pisces? How does the person feel about Pisces? So, okay, I'm getting that you guys have either you guys have been okay so there's two messages here so some of you guys the ones of you that are out there and you are ignoring this person because they are currently feeling rejected by you they feel like you're the one that's pretending with twin flames here like you guys are marrying each other for this particular situation because this person feels like you're the one that rejected them um, you're the one that's been bluffing and like that's the reason why they feel resentful towards you now some of you guys like they feel like you feel bitter towards them because they rejected you and they've been pretending and wearing this mask so take it as it resonates if you guys know that you're the one that rejected this person then that's your situation but if you guys know that this is like this person rejected you then take it as it resonates i am definitely getting that there is distance between the two of you this i'm it's like the distance between the two of you has created a lot of confusion in the both of your lives like both of you feel an emotional wreck because truly this person does desire to have like a family with you to establish like some sort of foundation with you. But if you're willing to just like waste your entire life until this person is finally ready to settle down and who's to say like they don't marry someone before you and it's like because that's the type of energy that I'm getting from this person. I don't want this one. Yeah, you and this person don't share the same vision. You're on different pages here. You want one thing, they want another. 
strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Balance. One person is given too much to the situation. A relationship awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. They are really trying to get you to awaken to what this situation is. So you don't continue to waste any more of your time. I am saying like it is going to be very difficult for someone here to acknowledge the truth out of this situation. I mean, obviously, if you pour so much of your energy towards the situation, it's completely understandable. I mean, hell, you should be pissed off. But not to the point where you're self-sabotaging here, where you allow this past connection to affect a previous, or you allow this past connection to affect a connection that's coming in for you, or what's in store for you. But I am saying, like, this is going to trigger a spiritual transformation for someone here. I mean, strictly sexual, amazing sex here. Yeah. I am really, is because this person is keeping their options open. I mean, they, some, it's like some of you guys could learn a lot from this person as far as like attracting connections towards you. Because I'm um, getting that this person has the tendency to easily, uh, like attract people and they get people to fall in love with them quickly but they keep relationships very superficial here um and it's to protect their own heart i'm not saying that you guys like to embrace that type of energy but it's like really learning um how to date i guess i'll say Because this is someone who's like really outgoing. Um, they're very focused and determined. Um, it's, it's like they keep relationships light. But I am saying like this is someone. I'm not saying that they're the type of person to like stay uncommitted forever here. I am saying like they are the type that it's like they play around. But then they do have like a big heart. Or they do have a good heart I'll say. But I'm saying like this is like they will eventually settle down. But I'm not seeing the two of you settle settling down together. Because it's like really, I'm getting this energy of you guys like staying home. Like y'all could be um, obsessively watching tarot readings over to get messages about this person. And... You know, that's the scary thing about tarot readings, especially when it's a general message. If you don't have the spirit of discernment and you are just like a, like taking on a message that's not yours. Because I'm seeing like someone here like will stay home instead of like getting out, uh, prioritizing things in their life in order to attract the love that they deserve here. Because there's someone here, it's like they, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting like Queens here. So someone could be like uh, New York, Queens, New York. Um, but I am seeing someone here like keeping their options open. They just keep connections very lighthearted. I mean, if someone's willing to get in bed with them, then they're more than willing to sleep with them. But I am seeing like they do have this tendency of, they cause people to fall in love. So it's like one person is falling in love, but the other person is just trying to keep this connection light because they're keeping it strictly sexual. And someone like may feel like, okay, if they have amazing sex with me, then they'll want to stay with me. Or if I have sex with them, then they'll want to stay with me. But that's not the case because I'm seeing someone here like upset and crying over a connection that's not working out and they're constantly like trying to reach out to this person and 
trying to see what this person is up to or trying to get some sort of response out of them but this person is just keeping their options open and then what's behind that is lessons learned so it's like someone here is needing to go through this spiritual transformation to really awaken to this connection and acknowledge it for what it is it's like you can either take this as a lesson learned or you can be stubborn about the situation and continue to, you know, deny the fact that this isn't a twin flame connection. It's a karmic. just can be tough but if we don't take on the lessons that we need to learn so we can move forward then we can't move forward and you definitely don't want to be one of those people that it's like instead of putting the hard work towards something they just just go about life aimlessly here and then they're upset because things aren't working out for them or is they're not getting what they want but take it as it resonates if you guys know you're putting in the work towards whatever you want out of life they keep doing it but there's someone here that's definitely yeah it's definitely a tough decision um to walk away to do what's best for you so and I'm really, it's like someone definitely feels at a crossroads to walk away from this situation, to do what's best for you. That's what you're being guided to do. It's definitely been a burden for you. This has been a heavy burden in your life. Um, but they're wanting you to see that this is what you are being guided to do. This is the right decision. Some of y'all are just refusing to acknowledge this. And they're like, if only you will open your eyes to see all the blessings that there could be for you. If you just are willing to let go of something that's not working. It's, it's just this message just constantly repeating that things are not going to turn in your favor. If you continue to hold on to the situation, it's going to continue to cause you pain, stress, and anxiety until you finally allow things to come to an end. Um, because it's this energy of you're going from, okay, I'm releasing this because it's not making me happy. This does not fulfill me. You are acknowledging that you're not getting what you want and you deserve out of this situation. And you make the difficult decisions to do what's right for you, to stand up for yourself. But then you go back to this energy of, oh man, did I just miss out on my true love? And you come right back to the situation. You come right back to the state of mind.
What is your advice for Pisces? What is your overall advice for Pisces? So they're saying if you want a solid commitment, if you want the real deal here, then you need to acknowledge what is not the real deal. Because the Page of Pentacles, this is just a small pen pinnacle in comparison to what's coming through for you. But the thing is, you need to quit lying to yourself. So as soon as you get out of this energy and you charge towards where you're being guided to take action towards, you're definitely headed towards the right partnership here. And realizing it's like being able to reflect on, yeah, oh my gosh. Being able to see like why you did not get what like you thought you were going to love out of a particular situation. Because I am seeing like ultimately you'll end up in this uh, situation where you're in a happy committed partnership with someone here and the person from the past is pissed off. It's like, even though they didn't want to give you what you deserve, they're still pissed off about you being in a happy committed relationship. But first you're needing to release this person. It's like they want, it's, it's like if they can have someone they can continue to go back to and continues to like play games with, this person will continue to do it. But once you finally step into this energy of knowing what you deserve and you're no longer willing to settle for this, then you're going to definitely attract something amazing. But first you need to know what are you going towards here? Like what truly makes you happy? What truly makes you feel good? What, what do you dream about when you think about being in a happy, committed relationship? What is that? Because that's where you're being guided to take action towards. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you. I know it's like a difficult reading to hear, but I hope that you guys accept the messages that you needed to hear for whoever this was for in order for you to have what you deserve. Uh, but with that being said, you all take care.